man. Drop your gun right now. This is the best thing for you, dude. I'm telling you. Hey, listen to me, bro. Bless myself, too, bro. Eddie, look, talk to me. I need for you to put the machete down, man. Everything is going to be okay. People get kidnapped for all kinds of reasons. Although it often ends up badly, in some cases, law enforcement officers react swiftly and manage to save the day. In some of those cases, the suspects don't make it out alive. The cases we'll look at today might make you feel uncomfortable, so viewer discretion is advised. We start off on the mean streets of Denver. Actually, mean would be an understatement. At the time, Colorado had the highest per capita vehicle theft rate in the country, with the total number exceeding 40,000 vehicles annually. And the reason I mention it is that it has to do with the deadly hostage situation we're about to witness. I dropped my radio, John. In this backyard, I'm pretty sure. Hop this fence right here. Hop this fence. Hop this fence. Just push out. Hold on, blue on blue. Just back up, back up. It's way back there. In here, in here. The voice you just heard was the female hostage, but to understand what's going on, we need to go back half an hour or so. On September 12, 2020, around 4 a.m., Deputy Marcus Knight arrived at a Circle K store on North Mead Street. He immediately noticed a white Ford Explorer with no license plates. Pretty soon, a female exited the store and got in the passenger seat. Deputy Knight informed his colleague, Deputy Matthew Tran, of the situation. Tran, who was in the neighborhood, followed the Ford and initiated a traffic stop. The driver sped off, and that's when the firefight started. Seven, you just held a gun out the window at me. Happy gun, all right. I'm going to notify Denver, please. Happy notify Denver, sorry. Yeah, seven, one, we're east on 48th. All right. shooting at me, shot fired. Shot fired, all right. Seven, one, shot fired. Shot fired, all right. The driver in the vehicle was later identified as Christopher Escovedo. According to the police report, he pulled out a gun through the open window and then started shooting at the police. The car chase continued for around 14 minutes, and then the 911 dispatch got a surprising call. I'm actually in the car that the cops are chasing right now. And he's going to have to kill me. Where are you at? He's going to shoot me. Where are you at? He's going to shoot me. Where are you at? I need to know where you're at. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. He's going to shoot me. I'm not going to tell you. Who's chasing you? Who's chasing you? The call was made by the woman in the passenger seat. She was pleading with the cops to back off, or else the driver would shoot her. The cops decided to deploy stop sticks. Escovedo lost control of the SUV and then crashed into a parked vehicle. The female got out of the vehicle, but so did the kidnapper, who then grabbed her and pulled her towards the backyard of a house. Never police, drop the weapon! Hey, I'll, I'll talk. Hey, this is the Denver police! I need you, hey, you need to listen. Okay. Come out right now with your hands up. Listen. You guys 
Come out right now, sir. No, we're not backing off. Hey, everybody back up. He's got a gun, yeah? Yeah. Back up. Back up. Everybody back up. Hey, stop moving. Stop moving right now. Do not move. We are, hey. Back up. Back up. Back up. Get some cover over here. Pull some cars up. Hey, pull the car up. Pull the car up. The cops are coming from the front and behind, and the victim's in the middle. Judging by his behavior so far, the suspect is not keen on going to prison. This is one of those things that could potentially drag out for hours. Or there might be one pop, and everything would be over in one second. Hey! Hey, sir! Hey, you're not, this is not, this is not where you want to be right now. The best thing for you is to come out with your hands up, Show me your hands. I got my hands up, please. Please don't back shoot. Up, back up, back up. Please, you guys, please don't shoot. Right here, right here. Please. You guys walk out, let's go. Please don't shoot. Hey, try to drop your gun right now. This is the best thing for please, you, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, bro. Please, please You need to, hey. Hey, listen to me, bro. I lost myself too, bro. Listen to me. Deputies Ingle and Tran had a clear view of the suspect when he got out of the bushes with the victim. They both felt the situation was deteriorating and decided to take the kidnapper down. As the suspect fell, he rolled towards his gun, and at that point, a rain of bullets came down. The officers tried reviving the suspect, but he was pronounced deceased by medics. It was later found that Escobedo had methamphetamine, amphetamine, morphine, and fentanyl in his system. In the early evening of February 4th, 2023, police received a call about two homeless people setting up camp in an apartment stairwell in Chula Vista. The caller on the line said there might be drugs or perhaps mental illness involved. This is the moment they arrived at the scene. Yeah, yeah, back up, man, back up. Chula Vista, back back the up. Chula Vista police. Back the up, man. Back up, Chula back up. Police. First, the officer figured there was just one man under the stairs, so he casually pulled away the cart and the blanket. At that moment, everybody realized there was another man there, and the suspect had a knife to his throat. Realizing what was going on, the officer started shouting orders, and the situation started to escalate. One of the officers radioed in about the hostage situation and requested a canine unit. In the meantime, the officers repeatedly told the man to drop the knife, warning him that he was about to get shot. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. I'll run for it. Drop the knife. 
Get the f out of here now. Drop the knife. Oh, I'm gonna get killed over this. Drop the knife. Don't. Dude, Drop the knife. Back up. Back up now. Last corner of the back. No. Drop the knife. Back up now. Drop the knife. Back up now. No. Back. Drop the knife. Back up now. Drop the knife. Back up now. We can't because you have a knife Stop. to his neck. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Back up now. Drop the knife. Back up now. Drop the knife. This is as far as I'm going. Drop the knife. So a couple of things are obvious here. First, the suspect is armed, dangerous, and seems to be very agitated. Second, the victim's afraid of the suspect, but also worries that the cops might shoot him by accident. And thirdly, no matter how much they tried, the officers did not manage to de-escalate the situation. What is your name? My father's gonna see the out of this What is your name? Get the back. What is your name? Drop the knife. 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 Shoot the police! Back up. Drop the knife. Back up. We're right here. He's got a knife in the guy's neck. Drop the knife. We're not going any further. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. We're not going any further. Drop the knife. Yes, it's yes, up to his neck. Drop the knife now. Drop the knife now. We're not going any further. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Get out of here. Drop Just the go. knife. Please. Get pepper ball. Get pepper no, ball. You guys are not gonna get jump pepper up. ball. Drop oh, the knife. Drop my shoulder. Now. You're not that good of a shot. Obviously, the victim seems to be more afraid of the cop's aiming abilities than the knife on his throat. He's even angry at the cops for being so aggressive. But neither of the men seem to understand that there's no way the officers can just pack up and leave at this point. Just please. Back up now. We can't. Now that we're here. Back up now. Drop back up. Now. I'm going to cut him and I'm going to stab your dog to death. Back up. Just back up. Please. Drop the knife. Back up. Dude, I didn't do anything. None of the officers dared to take the shot. The suspect was using the victim as a body shield as he kept trying to kick down the door behind him. But that gave the cops an idea. Several of them gained access to that particular apartment, and they could now flank the kidnapper. On me. The officer inside wanted the suspect to open the door, and it slid open just enough. The officer took his gun and took a clean shot at the suspect. The victim immediately fled, but was grabbed by the officers. He sustained only minor injuries to his neck, while the suspect was not expected to survive. While we just witnessed people getting shot, our next clip is really difficult to watch. It shows the arrest of Robbie Wilt, a child predator who kidnapped a six-year-old girl who was just coloring on the driveway of her grandparents' home in Louisville. The one thing the kidnapper didn't know is that the neighbors saw what happened and they called it in. Somebody just grabbed a little girl. What color kind of type of vehicle were they in? We're in our Challenger. 310, I just had one turn on grab and I'm trying to get caught up to it. You're eight, we're on one, Darian. Valley Station right now. 310, what was that partial tag again? One of John Paul is what he said it was showing. All right, I got it. Three, four, William Johnson. See your hands. Hey, what's your exact location? Hands. Put your hands in the air. Stay right there. Stay right there. Grab the hall. Keep your hands in the air. Turn around. Back towards me. Turn around and back towards me. Back towards me. Keep walking back. 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 
Keep walking back. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Stay right there. As soon as the call came in, police were on the lookout for a red Ford Challenger. It was LMPD Sergeant Joe Keeling who noticed the vehicle, engaged the suspect, and then waited for backup to arrive before putting him in handcuffs. While this was going on, the little girl was still in the car. Not knowing who else might be involved, the officer starts shouting at her to open the doors. One more in the car. One more in the car. Open the passenger door! Just her. Open the passenger door! Driver or passenger? You got a little girl in the front seat. Little girl in the front seat. Hello. It's okay. 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 It's just pulled up, and I think they were looking for her. Seven. Oh, What's your name? Who? Are you okay? Huh? Do you have any injuries? No. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't know my house, and you picked me up. You, he picked you up? You don't know him? There's nothing I hate more than child abusers. FBI statistics show that almost 90% of abducted children get sexually assaulted and murdered within hours of their kidnapping. So no matter how scared she was, this little girl was one of the lucky ones. Is your mom and dad at the house? No, my grandpa. Oh, your grandpa was grandpa. watching you? Yeah, but my dad's coming in. Oh, okay. My mom went to work. Oh, your mom went to work. she was? Oh, ah, okay. Were you riding your bike? He didn't take me. He just said he's gonna give me. He's gonna okay. Can anybody advise that she needs him? Are you hurt? No. He didn't do anything wrong. He said he was gonna show you a puppy. Yeah, he's my mom's friend. I think. He said he knows my mom. You say he knows your mom? Yeah, mm -hmm. for. Sick. Okay. And you want EMS Although he obviously can't, I bet that cop's thinking of shooting this guy right now. You'd be surprised how many children fall for the puppy story. This girl isn't even sure if she was kidnapped. Okay, family members should be back around to Haney in a blue I van. I don't know if he spilled me or not. That's I don't know. I hope not. I think my dad's... I want my dad... He's to go work. He has like well, a we got you. Back. I don't think she wants to. She said that he wanted to show her a puppy and they was a friend of her mom's. I don't know if, I don't know who, wait, I don't know who he is. Yeah, it's okay. <coughs> we got you back. Is this, okay. Yeah, that's. Okay. You know those people? <laughs> yeah. Luckily, Grandpa soon got to the scene and took the little girl. He didn't seem to realize exactly what had happened and how lucky his granddaughter really was. Meanwhile, the low-life kidnapper tried to weasel his way out with lies. ID's in the car. 310, I'm okay. Sure to try and, uh, Does he live here? Does he live here? All right, just wait right there then. If you don't know him, just wait right there. He was on Cannon Road. You searched him? Yeah, I searched him. I was never going to do anything. Airport. Uh, radio 2, 351. Yeah, radio 2, 351. Do we have anybody on the team with the parents or the grandparents? Listen to me. At the original location. You have to silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. I wonder if he went... Something's wrong. I better take this kid back. That's kind of what I was thinking too. I think he was going to drop her off. I went going back to the house. I think he was going to drop her off somewhere near the house. That's what I think. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. He's done it. It, do, it doesn't matter. Oh. Help individual has to be like, hey, let's go snatch a kid. Dude, I don't know. The real heroes of this story were the neighbors who called the cops. Also, there was Sergeant Keeling 
who noticed the vehicle and saved the girl. As for the suspect, he pleaded guilty and got only 13 years as part of a plea deal. Luckily, not all kidnappings involving kids involve child predators. Some kids get abducted by their own parents. That was the case in Akron, Ohio, when an Amber Alert was issued after a man named Sean Eckel allegedly kidnapped his own son. This is the moment the SWAT team arrived and started interviewing neighbors. He came out the, he came out the laundry room. building with a door, with a window was open, he came he, out that building. He could building. have came out you, there, because you know we, we cleared that. No one was in there. No, he came out of there, I'm telling y'all, he really did. I watched what, what, Where did he go, dear? Where he, he, he stood by the laundry door uh, with the did, little boy in his hand. Did you see where he where he walked off to? No, all, okay. all I seen was him standing there with, with the little boy in his hand. That's all I seen. And I think he did come out that building, because he because he came out there with the little boy in his hand. The little boy was like this, just sitting there laying. And that was after? we left yes no right some of y'all was still out here when i walked in it was made by like 9 29 the SWAT 25. Meeting was over yes the swat was over and she was like auntie kim i think he surrendered himself i said why why you say that she said because he came out holding a little boy with his arms up and that's what she told me but she just said to let basically the same thing to y'all and this was that night but now y'all telling me that yeah find the little boy what yeah. else was up but it's it's, it's a lot a, it's a laundry room over here there was an obvious misunderstanding I guess the cops missed the suspect when they inspected what appeared to be a community laundry room. So this time, they decided to evacuate everyone and do a more detailed search. Occupants of 1307 Sylvan, come out one at a time with your hands up. This is the Akron Police Department. All right, I got a couple adults in the living room. There's a kid. Hey, come on out. Bring the kids out. They have to hurry up. The door has to be open with vice grips. All right, show them. One at a time. Get the kids out. My wife. Bring your kids. Eleanor. Get the kids out. Let's go. Come on. Come out with your hands up and you will not be harmed. Uh, John! Zach, the police department. All right, come on, buddy. I got him. I got him. I got okay, him. buddy. Come on out, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Watch your motion. Watch your motion. Come on out, buddy. John! Zach, the police department. We're not going anywhere, man. Let's go. Come on out. Put your hands up. The cop's request fell on deaf ears, so they moved in. Not knowing what kind of state the suspect was in, the officers approached very cautiously. Yeah, I'd love to talk to him first. Hey, Sean. Hey, man. Come on out. We know you're here. Okay. Your mom is out here, man. I'll let you talk to her after you come on out. All uh, right, you cooperate with us, you can talk to your mother once you come out, okay? The cops used tear gas. Echo released the boy before barricading himself in the room, so the kid was unharmed. How you doing, brave man? Give me your knuckles. Yeah, oh, we miss. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Tried to break it on the first uh, one. Thanks for, uh, okay. thanks, Torrent, for not uh, busting my hand up. Uh, to get out. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> Hell yeah. I need to get him this stuff and get a new battery. Yeah. You guys are off to tomorrow, right? Sign. Did you let him use the lights yet? Well, most of your lights are the, they're all, yeah, no. they're all messed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, uh, <laughs> we're trying to uh, get 15 from the former one. Hi, man. Come on out. Just that dude. Do you have anything on you that they miss? Knives, guns, drugs, needles, anything like that? I do got to go through all your pockets, all right? Oh, I'm going to go up here. While the kid got out of the situation unscathed, suspect had bruised ribs and got a nasty bang to the head. He was searched and taken to jail, where he had a very strange story to tell. Right, step on that, man. Watch your step. Okay. All right. What's up, man? What's up? Your rib? Your f cracking me. Horrible. Yeah, come on, step on up. My face looks like that. Yeah. Got a little cut. It's unclear what exactly happened and why he kidnapped his own son. But my guess is he was on something. Just look at how confused he was when the officer asked him why he didn't just come out when they asked him to. So, dude, I tried to talk to you for an hour. You didn't come out. The guy that was out there talking to you? I know you heard me. No, I asked the guy, 
I asked the guy, talking to me, out at the house, where I rest of Yeah. No. You didn't hear me talking? No, I, no, I, I, I was out. Here. What's that? I was out. You were out? I was out. I was trying to go to the What's that? 1497. 1497. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, I was, I was trying to talk to you for an hour. Really? Yeah. I was in a bike number with you. I was crashed. So when I said it, hey, numerous times, I'm like, Sean, this is David with Akron Police. We're not going to leave. We know you're here. Come on out with your hands up. I mean, I was, I, I was really in, I was dreaming that that's what he was talking to me, but yeah. I keep telling you, these are bad. There's no way he slept through all that just because he was tired. He was charged with kidnapping, abduction, and domestic violence, which is a fourth degree felony. Apparently, he pleaded guilty to the charges. We find ourselves in the middle of a hostage crisis in North Miami Beach, Florida. According to reports, a man was walking around with a machete. The police confronted him. He then ran into an office building where he took a woman hostage. Blue, blue, blue! Yep. Blue, 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 Bye bye. Hey, one person talk. One person talk. Okay. Okay, so you saw this one. Who this one? Who saw this one? Saw this one. Saw this one. Pass that line, okay? Who saw that? This one. 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 Okay. Koto ye jodi ya. Koto ye jodi ya. Ha? Koto ye jodi ya. Bina 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 the first thing I noticed was how the sergeant told his officers that only one person should talk. That's in stark contrast to the homeless situation we witnessed earlier, where everyone was just shouting. One of the officers tries to speak to him in Creole, but it doesn't help. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, buddy? What's up? I need to go to a hospital. Listen, hey, you want to go to a hospital? Sergeant Wilson, how can I help you, buddy? Over at the hospital? Huh? I need to put this down. Hey, okay, listen. Okay, listen. I'm Sergeant Wilson. Okay? What's your name? Edward Alexis, sir. Okay, Edward. Yes, sir. I would be more than happy to talk to you as soon as you put that down. Up until this point, the sergeant was hanging back, assessing the situation. When he realized things were going nowhere, he tried to step in. And at first, it seemed like it might just work out. He will put his gun down. I think I got away he will put his he will put his gun down as soon as you put that knife down. Okay? Please. You understand me? Don't worry, didn't he no shit here. Don't worry, please. Put it. Don't worry, please. Okay, put it down. Please. There's less lethal. No touch. Okay, that's good, buddy. No touch him, please. Okay. I'm putting it away. Okay, no touch him. Okay. Please. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go in. Go. Okay. Okay. Put it down. On the ground. Him, On the ground. Please. On the ground. Someone's got something. I 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 got something. Taking her out. Can we come outside? Put it down. No, put the knife. Put, put it down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Can she okay. come? Hey, mama, come. Come in, mama. Yeah. Okay, Baba. Listen. Okay, one person talk. Okay. Give him to me for a second. Come on, baby. Okay. Hey, Baba. No, no, no. We're not going. Give me stay. Give me stay. Hey. Hey. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. At one point, the suspect removes the machete from the woman's neck, but pretty soon, he's got it right back on her. It's normal for anxiety to arise, but this sergeant manages to keep it as calm as possible. Listen, you have to let her go so we can talk about this. Give me a second. Hey, call the community. put the knife. Okay, put the knife down. Put the knife down. Call the community. Okay, I will call the community if you let her go. Okay. Call the community. I'm going to call the community. Call the community. Who can we call for you? Mm -hmm. 
Very good question. Who can we call for you, Bubba? Miami. Okay. Put it down and I'll call. Huh? Police. <coughs> okay. As soon as you put it down, lift your arm off of her. Bring a shot, you don't need okay. okay? Put your arm off of her. Please. We're not gonna do don't. We're not gonna do anything. We don't wanna hurt them at all. Okay? We don't wanna hurt you. Please, so don't. not touch him, please. Not Dude, touch him. Give me a rest and stand by. Please. Okay? What you want, tell me, please. Bubba, what, what do you need from us? The suspect is 38-year-old Edwin Alexis. His brother later confirms that he suffered from mental issues but was never violent. In the video, he does look confused, and what he's saying doesn't make much sense. It's no wonder the conversation with the cops didn't get anywhere. Edwin, I'm John. What is your name? What's your name? Edwin, right? Is that your Huh? No, my kid, please, okay? I'm sorry, please. I don't know if I was on the highway. Okay. If it doesn't matter if you're on the highway, we can take care of the situation. Okay, so I know what to go. Huh? To go. To go. Okay. To Listen rally. to me. Listen to me. Watch Crossfire. Yeah. All right. Listen. What do you want from me? I'm in charge. How can I help you and fix this situation? Get the radio off whoever it is. Okay. Don't worry, please. You're so busy. What's your name, bro? My name is Oksana. Okay, listen. Edwin, how about if I have an officer step back some? Would that help you make you more comfortable? Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Officer Bourbon's going to step back. No, no. Officer Bourbon's going to step back, and Officer Nelson and Summer are going to stay here with me. Okay? Now that's, it's just you and me. Bourbon, don't shoot me in the back. It's just you and me, okay? I guess Officer Bourbon's not that good of a shot, seeing that the sergeant asked him not to shoot him by accident. But what he says next shows us that the sergeant's aware that this is going nowhere. Can Exana come to me? It's not going to Okay, well, what can we do to fix this? Huh? I'm going to go lethal in a second. Okay. What do you want? Tell me what you want. Baba. Tell me. How can I do? How can I No, we're not going to do that today. We don't want to hurt anybody. Please. I can look at all we did was ask you to drop the machete. I don't know. Okay, we got a clue. Oh. Hey, no, 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 Baba. It's not. You're not going to do that. Huh? You're not going to do that. Don't touch him, please. I'm not going to touch him. We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to hurt anybody. Nobody's touching him. Nobody wants to hurt anybody. If you put that down, I put the gun down. It's that easy. Okay, let me go outside. Let me go outside. Come on. We're not going no, outside. Not. Come on, yeah. What is what's him? We're not going outside. What is what's him then? What's him? Huh? Okay, call him. Right. We got our situation. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, let's let her go. Let her go for what? So she we can finish talking. Can go off. What no. good is that? See us. I see. She ain't going I see. I see. She ain't going nowhere. See us. Call squats. Huh? Huh? I can't. I couldn't understand I you. The sergeant tried to resolve this peacefully again. He kept asking the suspect if there was anything he wanted, but this situation got more tense by the minute. Edwin, what do you want, Bubba? I'm John. Sergeant Wilson, Don't I'm John. Me. What do you want from me? It's my key. Don't touch, please. It's my key. Okay? Don't it's our key. key. Don't worry about it's it. It's my key. It's okay. my key. Bro. Hey, let him have the key. Let him have the key. Let him have the key. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, hey, I, I give you. Ma'am, let him have the key. You're an officer. It's fine. Nobody. It's fine. I give you. Okay, see? Stay up. It's no big deal. Come on, stand up. No, no, no. I stand up. Stand up. No, no, stand up. No. One, one, one. I stand up. I stand up. Okay. Stand up. I stand up. I stand up. No. 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 We're not standing up. up. We're not standing up. We're, we're not. We're not. Okay. Okay. Cross That's it. We're not standing up. Cross okay. What okay. I need to do? It's that simple. Okay. I don't okay. understand. Okay. Really. It's that simple. Okay. Relax. I need you to put that down, though. Okay. Can you do that for me? At that point, Sergeant Baker got involved. Notice how he tells the other officers to put their guns away, and then gets the suspect to focus his attention solely on him. No, no, look at me. Hey, oh, me, God, look at me. Please, I'm talking to you here now. Listen, my name is Sergeant Baker, all right? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you. But me? I need, no, I need for you, sir. Look at me, sir, look at me. Edwin, Edwin. 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 Back up. Back. Get them over there. Get the long guns out. Then you talk to me. Edwin. Edwin. They're gone now. You're talking to me now, Edwin. You're talking to me now. Hey, what's he doing? Edwin. Edwin. Don't make me hurt. No one is actually going to hurt anybody here. 
I need for you to calm down. Put your machete down. Let's talk, man. Put the machete down and let's talk, Edwin. Edwin, let's talk. He think my pool. Man, okay. come on, man, we don't. It's fine. Relax. It's okay. Edwin, put the machete down. Edwin, put the machete down. Put the machete down. Look at, talking to me, talking to me. Eddie, look, talk to me. I need for you to put the machete down, man. Put the machete down. Let's talk. As Sergeant Baker talks to the suspect, the other two sergeants are slowly moving closer. Is Sergeant Baker really trying to talk some sense into the man, or is it just a ploy to get his guard down? Everything's okay, man. I need for you to relax. There's no, hey, listen. Don't get hyped up. Calm down. Calm down. Relax. 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 There you go. Just relax, man. Just relax. We gonna get this worked out. Everything's gonna be just fine. Just relax. Okay, let her go. And just, then we'll talk about just, it. Just, just, just relax. Let her go. Hey, let her go. Hey. Uh, no. No, okay, no. Let her go. I want her to pull her back, man. Right? Yeah, come no, in. Come in. Look. It's, you need calm to let her down. go, okay? Calm down. Let her go. I said not about to go. No, no. Calm down. Hey, Edward. Officer Wilson's reflexes were lightning fast. It's sad that a man lost his life due to his mental condition. However, a woman's life was at stake and negotiations were going nowhere. It appears that the lethal force used was justifiable. Let me know if you agree. Thanks for joining me for this blood-curdling episode of The Hidden Files. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button and join me next time.